Hey guys, what's going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and welcome back to the channel. And today we are going to be checking out the Raspberry Pi 400, which is the Raspberry Pi inside a keyboard. So let's get started. Now, before we begin, I do want to thank Raspberry Pi Foundation for sending this over to me for review and everything we talk about will be linked down in the description below. One of the biggest things that we try to do with the Raspberry Pi is try to find places to put it in, which is either behind a monitor, inside a laptop, anything that we could find even inside a keyboard and Raspberry Pi has done it. They put the Raspberry Pi officially inside one of these keyboards. Now, my biggest problems, because I do a lot of Raspberry Pi projects here, is the amount of connections I have to do before even getting the Raspberry Pi up, which is installing like the keyboard, the mouse, Ethernet adapter, power, then the screen, all this stuff adds up. And, and after all the connections, you still got to find space for the keyboard and the mouse. And then it technically takes more space than to actually use this product itself. So actually, for the past couple of days since I had this, this is all I've been using. It, I can't believe how much space it saves just to have the Raspberry Pi inside this keyboard. Now they do have multiple models of this. The version that I have is actually four gigabytes on the Raspberry Pi 4, but they also have different keyboard layouts. So if you're in UK or India or something like that, they do have different keyboard layouts. I am on the US keyboard layout. Anyway, let's get to the unboxing of this and I'm gonna show you why this is actually so big for a keyboard being so small. So let's get into that. So I'm gonna slide this box open and inside you're gonna find the keyboard itself, which is right here. This is so pretty. And I gotta say this has some weight to it and definitely grips on the bottom. So it doesn't feel like a toy and it feels like it's not gonna move around when you type. So it feels well built. Does that, does that make sense? Yeah. Now going inside the box, all right, next we have, which is the power adapter itself for the keyboard and then the Raspberry Pi official mouse. Now we also get um, micro HDMI to a full size HDMI short little cable right here. And then underneath is what makes this way or feel as big as it should be is because of that thing in there. So let me take it out. And inside you get this official Raspberry Pi beginner's book. Now this makes this whole kit worthwhile because the amount of tutorials and what you can learn from inside this book is astounding. Like I read through this book and I saw what they could teach you, how to use the hats, how to use the GPIOs. And in here, it actually shows you how to do scratch programming as well. And don't knock it till you try it because for the past couple of months, I've actually been coding with my son, my eight year old son on scratch programming. And we're at the end of our game development. We actually developed the tower defense game and I had him do about 20% of the codes in the beginning. And then I, then I did the rest of the trigonometry stuff where we had to do the targeting and stuff. But scratch programming is very powerful if you ever want to get into it but this whole kit that you get together including this book makes for a very good present because this shows them how to actually use the raspberry pi so let me put this all away show you the connections on the raspberry pi and then we'll plug it in all right here we go first thing we have is the actual mouse and you can see it's actually a pretty short cord which i like because when you actually plug it to the keyboard itself it doesn't leave for too much of wires hanging around so this is about two feet of wire or 24 inches of the cord, I believe. And then you have the actual keyboard itself. Now in the back, this is where all your connections happen. So you got the 40 pin GPIO, the SD card, the two HDMI ports, USB-C power connector, two USB 3.0s, one USB 2, and then the ethernet adapter. Obviously this still does have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, so you don't need to connect the ethernet if you don't need to. But ultimately that's where all your connections are. And on this 40 pin GPIO, it actually has that little notch that you could use this thing where it's a ribbon cable where you could plug into the 40 pin to a breadboard. So you can actually use this and know where every connector is. This plugs right in. And like I said, it's got that notch so you can't put it upside down and that's it. It's connected to your breadboard and it has all the GPIO pin layouts. Now the keyboard itself it has a pretty good typing and it's spaced out pretty good. It's like a laptop keyboard. The travel on the keys is good and it's not too loud. It's not too clicky. It's got a, like a little tactile feel to it and it doesn't have any soft spots. Like I don't feel like it's bending or anything when I'm typing. So it's pretty good. You do have a power indicator on the top and that also is an activity indicator. So as the Raspberry Pi is doing stuff, this will actually actively blink. You have your cap locks and then your number locks on top. So you could see that there's a layout for numbers on the keyboard itself. So if you needed to 
use the num lock and type that in that's pretty cool as well now the mouse will actually plug into the usb 2 so you can match it up it's got the white at the one end and white at the other end that would be the best place for it and that's about it all you need is the power and then the hdmi and you're good to go that's all i need as far as space goes connecting this raspberry pi so here we are everything's hooked up to my monitor and it's connected you can see in the back and I only have three plugs connected. And technically, if you didn't want to use the Raspberry Pi mouse and wanted to use some Bluetooth mouse, it will be two connections and the Bluetooth mouse. And if you guys didn't know, it is a Debian-based Linux desktop and it's stripped down so it works really good with the Raspberry Pi. Now, this version that they have installed, which comes with the 32 gigabyte SD card, is considered the light version because as you can see, it's actually missing the game section. That's what I noticed. But you could always get that back by going into preferences, recommended settings, I mean, recommended software and in here you will actually see all the software that you could install like the full desktop version would have so give me one second and there we go if i go into games you see minecraft is here i could just check it off i hit apply to install it and all the other stuff like um, office if i want to install the office program or all programs scrolling down from here this is another thing you might want to learn mathematica which is pretty cool but yeah anyway that's how you would get the software back if you needed to now, if you guys didn't know, one of the biggest things about the latest desktop is this bookshelf. Now, this bookshelf actually allows you to download Magpie magazines, Hackspace, Wireframe, and all that stuff for free. So if you're uh, done learning all the projects from the book that it comes with, you can always actually get more projects from these little books right over here. So if I was to, say, open this item, uh, it would actually since I have it downloaded already, pop into here and I could read the full magazine. Same goes for the wireframe or the hack space. And if you go into books, you actually have all these books like C programming or build a first person shooter. Tons of things to learn from this thing. Anyway, in conclusion, I really like this keyboard. It's actually really small. You could actually pop it into anywhere and it's not a mess to hook it up and hook a keyboard and mouse together. So I really do enjoy using this keyboard itself another thing that you could actually do with this is turn this into a retro pi machine and hook up two super nintendo controllers using the usb 3.0 ports in the back and this would be a pretty cool gaming machine that you could plug up to a monitor and it's like small form factor still and you get the keyboard so technically that's another controller and i also recommend if you are this is a great present like not even kidding because this whole set is complete you basically have the raspberry pi the keyboard mouse and the book that it comes with that teaches you so many things you could do with the raspberry pi this whole set is actually a really good gift component for anybody who's actually trying to get into stem anyway hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did please hit that like button if you guys have any questions about this leave it down in the comments below and let me know if you guys want me to do a disassembly video because this actually has no screw holes whatsoever so somehow it's like clipped together and I kind of want to see what's going on in the inside but if you guys are interested in that let me know down in the comments below and if you guys are new to this channel consider subscribing also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out and as I say in my nerd cave hack till it hurts